Hey guys, how's it going? How you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. If this is your first time checking out Sheila Devine's channel. What is up guys? I'm Amy. If you're returning, welcome back. So I am not on camera. I won't be on camera for um, tonight. Um, I thought I was coming down with a head cold on Tuesday, but I think it's just allergies. I do have a tree that is blooming outside my window. And I've had my window open for a week and then, I don't know, I just, I felt really drained and my eyes were itchy and I kept sneezing and, oh my gosh, just been really exhausted. So, anyways, my face is still pretty puffed out. So, I have decided that I am going to stay off camera, but I wanted to... Channel Divine Masculine's voicemail to you. Um, just off the top of my head, whatever's coming through, I just felt like this is what needs to be done for this week. So clearly there's a message for somebody in here. Clearly Divine Masculine's everywhere has something to say. So I'm going to just get into this. Hopefully it resonates with you guys. Hopefully you guys are doing well and getting through this allergy season, COVID um, stuff. My heart goes out to anyone who has COVID. Thankfully mine is just allergies, but... Let's get started. Let's see what comes through. Hey, babe. So I feel like I, I have so much to say to you. And I feel like There's so much that I want to get off my chest. There's so much that I need to speak my truth on. And I thought it would be easier. I thought if, you know, if maybe I called you, if, if maybe you picked up the phone, if maybe we could have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, that it would be easier than, than waiting any longer. But the more that the phone dialed, the more I got scared, the more I got worried, and I was really hoping for your voicemail because I just don't know I think I'm scared I, I think I'm scared to be happy I think I'm scared to admit the truth I'm, I think I'm scared to you know pour my heart out I, I, I don't know if you've moved on I don't know if you forgive me I don't know you know and I think that's the biggest thing right now is you know I, I don't know how to feel what if you don't want anything to do with me? What if you don't want to hear from me? What if you come at me with negative words or negative choices or, you know, what if you're seeing someone else? All of these things are running through my mind right now because I do not know what to do. You know, I have just been so in my head, so wrapped up in my own world. It's just been a lot. So much has changed in my life and, you know, some days I just... I want to pick up the phone and I want to call you and I want to tell you all the good stuff that's happening in my life and I, you know, I want you to be my comfort place and I want, I want to be your comfort place, you know, I, I miss our conversations, I miss being able to just talk with you and share with you and be open and honest with you and, you know, I just, I want that back. Do you ever sit and think about our times do you ever miss our conversations I, I I find myself missing it more and more every day I find myself missing you more and more every day you know I wish I could just get out of this energy of being scared and just being able to come forward and, and to tell you that you know, I'm sorry that I never told you how much I loved you. I'm sorry I never told you how much I needed you and how much I wanted this relationship and this connection with you. Because for the first time in my life, I was scared and I ran, you know. It was like I was praying for something and I was praying for something to happen and I was praying for something to come through. And then one day out of nowhere, you came into my life and my life changed. You know, you changed my life, babe. You made me so much stronger than I ever thought I could be. You held me up out of the darkness. 
My life has been very, very dark. But I feel like the minute I met you, I saw light again. I saw purpose. But I was afraid. I was afraid. Because I knew that I had to grow. I knew it was time to make some changes. <coughs> I asked spirit all the time to give me signs when it's going to be the right moment to come forward. Because my heart knows I can't live without you. Because my heart knows that I don't want to live without you. I feel like sometimes the closer I get to you, something always goes, something always happens, something always falls apart. I read out a text message, but I never send it. I call you, but I never press the dial button. I wish I had your bravery. I wish I was as brave of you. I wish I could just take everything that life was thrown at me and I and kept going, but I'm not as strong as you. I never have been. I, I feel like there's so much more that I have to learn. There's so much more that you know, and, and not so much learn about you. I feel like this is more about learning about myself because I know where I need to be. I've known where I needed to be the day I met you. The day I met you, I knew I needed to be with you. But it was like I knew I couldn't be with you the way that I was. I had to change. I had to evolve. I had to become stronger. I had to find that courage and that bravery in myself to just let shit go that I'd just been holding on to. And I didn't want to drag you through anything. I know I've hurt you. And I'm ashamed of that. I know when you needed me the most, I wasn't there for you. And that kills me. That kills me every day. Because I know that every single time I needed you, you were always there for me. And when I look back and I realize that there were only certain times that you ever leaned on me and yet I wasn't there for you, that breaks my heart because I know that you stepped up so much for me, but I wasn't ready to step up for you. But looking back on that, I want to be your rock. I want to be your comfort. I want to be the person you can rely on. The person that you can love with all of your heart. The person I can love with all my heart. And I want to be all those things. I want to come back and make you my wife. And build a home. And take care of the kids. And have a bunch of animals. And just be happy. You know? I want to be blessed. And I know I can be blessed with you. Because I've waited my entire life for a relationship like I had with you. You know, you're not only my other half, you're not only my person, you're, you're my best friend. And I'm sorry that it took so long for me to see that. But I see so much clearly now. And I know that I am living every moment from here and now. I'm not looking at the past. I'm not going back and trying to change what I know I cannot change. I'm moving forward. I'm doing what I feel like in my heart is the right thing to do and I can only hope that you can see it within yourself that I'm trying so hard I'm trying so hard to move forward and, and to be a better person and I hope that if anything you take from this video is that you know that wherever I am near, far across the ocean that I'm here for you and that I have loved you from the minute I saw you. And that nothing and no one will ever stand in my way f in, in my way of this connection of our destiny. I 
I have so much overflowing emotion for you. And I just, I can't wait till the day that I can come back and be able to express that to you. I love you.